Uh, it's about the time. Uh, welcome to this morning session. Uh, our first speaker in this morning session is Professor Daya Chen from Peking University. He's going to talk about the speed of the bias around the world on the Captain Watson train. and for New York University Shanghai for warm hospitalities. Um, as you will see uh, in my foreign talk is that actually uh, my accent of this talk is on the monotonicity of the speed. So if you allow me, then I would like to change my title a little bit. It's on the monotonicity of the speed of the new work. Uh, on the on the gas water tree. Uh, so that's my plan. So I will first introduce the model, which probably is well known to most of you. Uh, then I will reveal uh, some basic facts we already know. Uh, then, then I will present a new result that we just uh, recently uh, obtained. So I believe we have enough time, so I will present the proof, which is not difficult, but uh, quite uh, uh, tricky. And then we will uh, have some discussions on the related topics. So for the, for the model, well, so Gauss model 3 now is a basic model, so I don't have to do much. It's already mentioned in Zen Talk. So we only uh, we only have to emphasize that the uh, distribution of offspring. So it can be the process can be specified by the distribution, <coughs> and uh, we may identify each realization of the process as a tree, uh, and the, we identify the acid as a root. So now let, let emphasize that this is a root tree, which the root is a starting point, and we are talking about the tree. So the Galton water process uh, naturally introduce a magic on the set of uh, root trees. So um, we actually we need the Galton water magic instead of the process itself. Uh, to make it simple, uh, we will assume P0 is zero. So there's no leaf, there's always uh, 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 infinite trees. And of course, uh, many results are true for a more general case, but in my talk, uh, let, let me stick on this simple case. Uh, for a tree, let's fix notation. So T now it stands for a tree, a root tree. And uh, there is one uh, speci uh, special vertex we call the root. And the let x bar, uh, uh, the, the distance from the root. For any vertex, we may, uh, there's only one unique path from the root to the, that vertex. And we, we count how many edges. Uh, for <coughs> any vertex given from root, there are uh, several neighbors. One neighbor is special, which is uh, closer to the root. So the distance to root is uh, smaller than the site x. So let me denote by x star. <coughs> and there are other uh, neighbors, x i. Uh, so uh, these are, we call it, uh, children's of the vertex x. And the the number of vertices or number of children uh, decided by the probability distribution. So that's uh, what I have in my mind. This is a tree and the one uh, typical uh, vertices, and there are several children and uh, one parent. So now let's uh, consider the Lambda bias, lambda work, it's uh, actually Markov chain. 
So we only have to uh, specify the uh, transition probability. So from any vertex x with probability lambda over lambda plus k, then time, that's the probability jump to the uh, parent, and that's the probability jump to the uh, two other neighbors. So all other neighbors are equal. The parent is slightly different. There we put a weight here, lambda. Uh, and the root is slightly different because there's no parent. So the, the trans transition probability is always uh, just one, the one way to the uh, children. So that's the uh, model. And uh, now we are actually uh, talking about uh, random work in a random environment. So, so the Alton Watson tree serves so, as a random environment, and uh, uh, random work is the, the first part. Random work, and uh, so we first pick up the tree according to the Galton Watson measure, and then we run. We then fix the tree. Now the environment is uh, uh, is fixed. So yesterday uh, in uh, Daniel's talk, it's mentioned nature and nurture. So I, I was wondering if this random work. Random environment is nature or nurture. Uh, let me now reveal some basic results we already know. And since now there is a one uh, parameter, lambda. So we call the lambda class random work. And uh, it's already now well known that it's transient if lambda is small. It's more than the mean number of the offspring. So M now is fixed for the mean number of spring. And it is uh, more subtle to say that the speed, if this limit exists, we call it the speed of random work. And uh, it was proved by uh, Lyons, Fremantle, and uh, Paris about 20 years ago. The, the speed exists. Uh, and uh, for this result, actually, the assumption is not required. It's true for hydrogenium setting. And uh, they give the formula to compute the speed uh, for lambda equals to 1. Actually, we are able to compute the, the speed exactly. And in case the P0 is 0, it's simple. Formula, quite simple. And uh, recently, as resulted by Ali Adikon, how, how to say? Adikon. Adikon. That Ali give a formula to compute the speed of lambda bus for any lambda in, uh, in the interval between lambda C. Well, it's already known that the speed is zero up below this point. So we have a good knowledge about the speed. Uh, but we still can ask uh, many questions. The first question is, is the speed more than lambda? Uh, that's quite a natural question, but it seems to be uh, very difficult. The only result we know is it's true for lambda very small. Uh, well, this is probably not the optimal number, but it's just that in the neighborhood of zero, it's true. <coughs> and uh, it's also true for lambda very close to the mean number of m. So if we rewrite lambda, in the form of <coughs> very close to the M, then speed <coughs> can be uh, divided by M alpha. There is a relation like this, and it's known as Einstein relation. Uh, I, I, I don't know the uh, physical meaning, but it should, it should be from mathematical physics.
So, uh, there are uh, another question that is the speed uh, is, a mod, uh, is a differentiable in lambda, and we don't know uh, too much about. The third question, uh, at least to me, there's, I don't know. I, if, I don't know either if there's recent progress in these questions. It was asked by uh, Lance Grant and Paris before. Uh, there was another question. Is the speed bounded above by, by the quantity? To this question, we know the answer is yes. Uh, and uh, I made a, a little contribution to this question. That's why I always, uh, I'm always interested in this kind of uh, questions. Uh, so take the extreme case. So suppose, <coughs> suppose m is uh, an integer and uh, let pm is zero is one. So with probably one, we always pick up the m narrow tree. So it's a regular tree, <coughs> and we run random walk. Then the speed is indeed m minus lambda divided by m plus lambda. So this, actually, this, the bound is the uh, speed of random walk on a specific tree. So this confirms our belief that random, walk, random environments slow down this random walk. But this, of course, we know the, uh, this kind of principle from the very beginning in the work of uh, Solisman, the work in random environments. So then we have another question about the speed. Uh, is the speed more than in terms of spur outness of the PK? Uh, this is not defined yet, but what I have in mind is a specific questions. So if we take a distribution of offspring like this, P1, P3 equals delta, and uh, P2 is 1 minus 2 delta. So if delta decreases to 0, then it's just a binary tree. So in this sense that uh, if we increase delta, we increase the randomness <coughs> of the environment. So we will ask, is the speed monotone in delta? And uh, we can, if it, well, if we are able to answer this, uh, this kind of question, we can change the trade distribution by finding number of operations. So if I say, suppose now we are given two sets of offspring distribution, PK and QK. And I change the QK in this way uh, to some K and modify QK by QK minus 2 delta and add the mass delta to two uh, numbers, K minus L and K plus L. So we modify, we spread out the map of distribution away from center. If I modify the distribution this way uh, several times, then I will say it's spread out. Then my question is that if we change the distribution this way, can you, uh, can you verify uh, uh, if the mon speed is monotone? Uh, I, I believe several people asked the question, at least here in Hu, uh, in Paris, uh, asked the, the, these questions. Um, so please note that now the, when we spread out the distributions, the mean of, mean of offspring distribution does not change, but the second moment increase. Uh, but I, I don't think the reverse is true, so I, I, I don't know say, I won't say that uh, uh, increase of variance would uh, change the speed. So let's just say the spread is of the distribution. And uh, we may consider the probability of come back to the uh, root. So 
starting from some point x, we may ask the chance of coming back to the parent of that uh, vertex. And uh, we define this probability as log x. And re recall that we already have a notation beta x, which appear in the uh, Alice uh, result. So that is never returned, the probability never returned. So what we now we can say is that the mean of returning probability is monotone I mean, square of this of the distribution. Uh, since we are talk, we pick up this x uh, randomly, uh, actually x has equal status in terms of distribution. So we when we talk about mean, it's independent of vertex x. So we may choose any any point di different from root, then it's okay. Uh, the root is slightly different because there's no parent. So we may add it a parent artificially, add a one more root to make it uh, similar. So that's what I have in mind. That now I added one more edge here. So so it started um, the status of this point and the step this point are same. So that's what I mean. So sorry. So this the green tree is related to the Galton Watson tree looks at X and uh, the distribution of this part is identical with the distribution of the whole tree. And now let me introduce another term, that's the heating time of level N, the random walk starting from some point and uh, reach the level N, that's tau N. And uh, let rho N be the first time uh, the probability of uh, returning to the parent before hitting level N. Uh, let's fix now, fix the uh, root as starting point. Now I have the old stuff, so the root is it. Uh, obviously, uh, when, you, sorry. when you take the limit N, rho N is exactly the rho, the rho we are interested in. So, it's enough to, to show that the mean of rho n is monotone. Uh, this now, we, we are only talking about the finite tree. We are more comfortable to deal with uh, this kind of these questions. Now, let me uh, explain the meaning of monotonicity carefully. Now, we are given two sets of gauss watson trees, so there are two are different galton watson measures. One is in, decided by PK, one is decided by QK. And uh, let me use two different notation for the expectation related to that galton watson tree. And uh, there are two probability. One is for the random walk in the environment divide, de decided by PK. We use rho n as the, this probability of returning to the root and use a different note. Uh, Rn is for the same quantity, but decided by random work in the environment decided by Q. Q. So this proposition can be written in this way. The quantity rho n take expectation with respect to one galton watt galton watt measure and compare with another similar quantity, taking expectation with different Galton Watson measure. So these are really different uh, expectations. So the proposition says this is true. And uh, uh, when, when we try to prove this statement, we need more. We actually have to prove more results. Uh, it's true for any moment of the quantity. So once we prove this, the third proposition, that's enough. So let me 
not proof the third moment by induction. For the rope one, it's, a, it's a simple because not only the tree is so simple, so one can compare rope one expressly like this, and uh, you can verify rope one by taking spectation and take the use the convexity of PK. We, we have the spell on this, so we have the convexity, and the one can easily verify it's true. So I will take the uh, induction, so let's assume that it's true for any t up to n, up to n, and for any n. So let's consider uh, rho n plus 1. And the, this relation between uh, rho n plus 1 and rho n by uh, analysis of the trade and uh, determining probability one can have. Uh, let me point out that rho n now starts from some points in the child of or the root and uh, instead of hitting the nth row, now we're hitting the uh, level n plus 1. It's the same, the distance n. And uh, one can get a uh, recurrence relation like this. And of course, for nth power, it's just it's more uh, complicated. But it's anyway, the key point is they are just polynomials of the previous row n. And they are independent. So when I take expectations, I can use independence of the tree structure, and uh, I get uh, use a decomposition like this, I can get uh, relation between row n plus 1 and uh, row n. So uh, that's we compare the uh, random work starting from row and compare the work starting from level 1. Uh, then that's the uh, uh, key step. So we use the recurrence relation. We get rho n. We write rho n as 1 in terms of rho n, but it involves the power. Then we use induction. That's true for one galton watson measure and another uh, galton watson measure. So we can. Uh, have this inequality holds. And uh, so this part now is for the uh, Galton Watson measure related to the second distribution, but the in front the coefficient is still the PK. So I have to change the PK to QK and I claim it's still true. Uh, once we change this to QK, then that's the mean. That's exactly the mean of Rn plus 1. So we, we get the, the what we want. And likewise for the m's power. It's similar that you have more complicated formula. But again, you the step is same. You replace the row by R first. Then change PK to QK. So the key of the proof is this inequality. And uh, that is equivalent to so the, this inequality involves uh, several uh, independent random variables. We, this inequality, since we said the spread of this is just uh, obtained by uh, changing the uh, distribution of pk. So, so essentially you have to ask this kind of question. And uh, for this inequality, it, it's now it's essential, sorry, uh, elementary probability. First of all, let me point out the difference of the two quantities is 
decreasing A. So when you have some independent random variable like this, I added uh, a term, this term, it's uh, sorry, uh, these are non-neg positive uh, for very positive random variables. So I added some positive numbers, then it's two. It's uh, the the difference is getting smaller. And now, because they are ID distributions, so we can uh, write in this term that in distribution, they are safe. Then you take expectations. Uh, we, we get what we want. So that's essentially the, the main idea of the uh, proof. <coughs> so let me uh, mention several uh, related facts. Uh, first of all, this kind of question is easy for if you are talking about uh, monotonicity in, in lambda, because actually this is the returning probability that's related to the uh, resistance. And when you increase uh, lambda, actually you increase the resistance of each edge, and the total uh, resistance is increased. So if you ask the same questions uh, for a monotonicity lambda, uh, this quantity is easy. But the reason I look at the, this question is that it's our belief that more sprout will correspond to slower speed, and uh, slower speed is related to uh, large growth. That's why we look at the growth, the quantum growth. And uh, we already had uh, the idea, uh, the, the concept of tau n, that's the heating time of uh, level n, the speed is actually is related to the tau n in this way. So, if we have good knowledge about uh, tau, the mean of tau n, then we know uh, our original purpose is to study the monotonicity of a speed. So. If we have good knowledge about tau n, then we are happy. And uh, when I look at the tau n, so there is recurrent relation. Uh, in I reduce n plus one to n in this way, and you can see the the blue part. Now we know the blue part is one. In, in terms of spread of this. So all we have to do is, if we are able to verify the SN is the monotone spread of this. And uh, SM is the uh, heating time of the, either the parent or the nth level. So tau n is the heating time of level n. But now, in the in the in larger tree, we have the root, uh, the parent of O, and uh, we consider this heating time. And uh, one can have a formula induction relation for the S n plus one uh, in terms of S n and the row n again. This part is monotone. But we have less knowledge about SM. And uh, at this point, uh, I am not able to go any further. So I would be happy if anyone can take over and uh, to, uh, prove that the speed is monotone in this way. So that's the reason we look at uh, the end. Uh, let me mention another uh, probable problem related to this monotonicity. Uh, we consider the uh, population, consider Bernoulli bounded population, and uh, now the pr parameter is uh, 
maintaining tolerability T. So take the uh, regular tree and take a Bernoulli bound population. What we get is a family of uh, Galton Watson tree. Now just consider simple random walk. Uh, so it's a slight divide, divert from my topic. It's no longer level bias, it's simple random walk. And uh, then the speed, because at this situation, we are able to compute the uh, one, uh, speed expressly. So uh, it's one of the T. And if you ask more, instead of uh, regular tree, you replace regular tree by a Galton Watson tree. So starting with the Galton Watson tree and take the uh, Bernoulli bounded population, then again what you get is a Galton Watson tree with a different distribution. Uh, suppose this is the generating function of the original dis uh, distribution of offspring. Then. And uh, suppose this condition uh, complicates the uh, polynomial and it's increasing in S for some uh, branch of S. Then we, we know that the speed of simple random walk is uh, increasing, uh, increasing in peak. So this, this may be uh, strange to class, but one can take some uh, common distribution, like uh, geometric distribution, or Poisson distribution, or a binomial distribution. Uh, in, for this distribution, I can pick up, I can, I'm able to verify this indeed is true. So, so we can say that uh, for for Psalm, Galton, Watson, Trey, and take the uh, Bernoulli bound uh, population, then the speed is monotone in part of the P. But uh, one cannot say too much about this because one can easily find a, a counter example for some, uh, some trees that, which is not uh, a statement not true. Uh, one, one can take the binary tree and add it, uh, add it a line and then the conclusion will fail. So here is another question about monotonicity. So we, we cannot expect this is true for arbitrary graph, but we hope this is true for nice graph. So if you start with a uh, transitive graph or regular graph, and uh, uh, the structure is nice, then take the infinite class of, of the Bernoulli bound population. Can you say the speed is monotone? Uh, I, I, I don't know the answer. Another uh, question related to my, uh, I, I had it, get involved is ankle expansion constant. Uh, it's a quantity I'm not trying to explain. It. But this is quantity again related to the speed of random walk. Uh, and uh, so we may ask uh, if the speed is, uh, if we take the calculation of uh, a task, and uh, then you may ask, when you increase the P, will you increase the anti expression capacity? So there are many uh, questions that I am interested in and I'm not able to uh, answer. So anyone interested? will come to address these questions. So thank you very much. And, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. I have, I'm back here with you the 
photographic memory I kept. So this was taken uh, 24 years ago, in 1990, in Colorado. And you may see the gentleman here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Questions and comments? Who is this? Uh, yes. Yuma? Yuma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. yeah, there is a, a, a very meeting in Colorado Springs. Uh, well, uh, yes. So you have the, the speed rate actually is the, some kind of the constant in a lot of numbers. Like, yeah, we're all like that. So the speed is, is long or not? Like you mentioned at the beginning, on the certain condition, you're not a speed rate, right? Yeah. So, so in your situation, you only know the function of the speed rate. Uh, I mean, the function. Uh, there, yeah, there's a variation of formula for. Oh, for okay, I see. It's obtained by agadicities, okay. agadic lemma. So it, we cannot have. Uh, Fine results like what you are talking about. <laughs> so, so in that question, well, you, uh, whether you have the central limit thing because of the mean, I mean, you convert to the constant. I mean, so if you subtract the constant, you convert to zero, right? So do you have the central central limit? Yeah, I think that for some special cases. For some special. Yeah. Are there? Well, questions, or comments. Let's thank Dayu again.